What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked up battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're looking to have some fun on the Master Shield with the Zamazeta and Kyogre team that also features Life Orb Metagross and Rough Skin Garchomp. You guys already know the deal. If you do want you to contact at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, just stop watching my videos. Click that big red subscribe button and join the community. Over 60% of my viewers are not subscribed, so that's one of you. Seriously, yo. I beg of you, subscribe to the channel, help me grow as a content creator. But like I said, we're trying to have some fun with today's video. We're using a totally off meta team. There's only like one meta Pokemon on the team that's going to be Kyogre. So the rest are going to be fun to use, and we're going to try to get some wins with it. But let's get started here with the team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Garchomp, everybody's favorite Gen 4 Pokemon. We got Rough Skin, alongside with the Expert Belt, so super effective damage or super effective moves. We'll do more damage. We also got Breaking Swipe, Stomping Tantrum, both for Stab, Protect, and Rock Slide for our coverage move. Right next to him is going to be our lovely little Defiant Thunders over here. We got the Safety Goggles as item, and then we're rocking Fly, Thunder Punch, U-Turn to Pivot Out, and Thunder Wave to actually paralyze opposing Pokemon and slow down their speed. Middle left is going to be our Leftovers Kyogre. Obviously, it's rocking the Drizzle ability to set the rain and have weather control in the battle. But then we got Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, both for our hitting moves. Then we got Calm Mind to set up our Special Attack and Special Defense. And then last but not least, we got Protect on this lovely little Pokemon. Right next to him is probably the most underused or the the Pokemon or the, what a, what is it? The restricted mod that is the least used in this series. It is Zamazetta over here. We got the Dauntless Shield and Rusted Shield as its ultimate ability. So every time it hops into battle, it's going to get that defense boost. But it's got Iron Head Snarl for special attack drops, helping hand to make ally Pokemon do more damage. And then on top of that, it has coaching, which I think could be really, really good with physical attackers like, uh, who we got? We got Metagross, Garchomp, and we even have Thunders, who's a physical attacker. So we can use coaching on Zamazetta, boost our allies Pokemon attack and defense, and then Dynamax and roll off from there. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Glacier over here. And I feel like Glacier never gets used anymore because Calyrex is in the game, but Glacier is still decently strong. We got Chilling Nay, we got that Assault Vest's item, and then we're rocking Icicle Crash for Stab, Snarl for Special Attack Drops, Outrage for Coverage, and High Horsepower for Coverage. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be a great Pokemon for Dynamax, and that is going to be this lovely Life Orb Metagross over here. We got that clear body ability, so stats cannot be decreased. Iron Head, Stomping Cantrum, Bull Punch for first turn priority, and Protect for this thing's move set. Guys, you want to try out the team for yourself? I don't even have to tell you. The run code is chilling right at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked up ladder. Look to get some wins with this Zamazetta Kyogre off meta team. I just realized it is a brand new rank season, which means we're not in master tier anymore. We are sitting in great ball tier back at rank nine. We got to work our way back up to master tier. So let's get started here in battle number one, going up against probably the strongest team right now. I actually just recorded a video using this. It's probably out before this one. But yeah, this team right here is definitely the strongest in the game right now. Super strong with Zassian, Groudon, Charizard to pair up with that Groudon Drought, Incineroar for Intimidate, and you know, just like controlling the battle. Storm Drain Gaston, and then he has Grimstrong. I can definitely uh, see him bringing in Storm Drain Gaston. I could lead Thunderous. I could definitely lead Thunderous, but I could totally see him just going straight into like a hmm. A Pokemon like Rata and Charizard. It's looking really good. It's looking really good for us. And you know what? I might go Thunderous here. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna lead Thunderous. And I'm gonna bring Kyogre in the back end. I could go uh Zamazetta with this too. Zamazetta, I do like. I do like that. Let's go Kyogre. We might have Storm Drain Gash on, which we have to watch out for, but we do have our Ice Coverage move. And then last but not least, I'm leaning a bit towards Metagross, but at the same time, Metagross isn't too good here. I said we rock out with a Chomp. I said we rock out with a Chomp. Let me see the Chomp stats. We rocking with Chomp. HP a little bit in tackle, a little bit in special. Okay. We got that attack drop. Stop attachment was pretty good. Not bad. I'm with you, Garchomp. I'm with you all day. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. I just camp in Glacier and Metagross. They just get dumped on by so much there. So much there. I'm just, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. But let's see who this guy's going to go into. The Charizard and Groundhog combo might do me dirty here in battle number one. This team is so strong that we're going up against. It is so powerful. Like I said, I just recorded a video with it. It's definitely out by now. If you guys haven't checked that one out, definitely go check it out. But it's just too powerful. I think I go 3-0. Oh. Yeah, I grab a perfect record. Just dominate with it. But he's going to end up bleeding Groudon and, uh... Zass in here, which is I'm cool with. I'm kind of cool with that. We get that defense boost. I could Dynamax if I really want to. Um, I could definitely see a Blades maybe flying through here. Hmm. The jeans want to do. I could swap in the Kyogre, but I really don't want to. I really do not want to. I might Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave could be nice. Could be real nice. We got the Drought out and about. Uh, could Thunder Punch. Could fly for. I could go for speed like this. It's like let me see my stats real quick. I could pivot out. I could U-turn, but let me see this thing's stats. What are your stats looking like? 
Tony, he's on this side right here. Not too bad. Not too bad, but the Defiant's really good. And the Speed Boost could do us really good. So I might just actually Thunder Wave into you. And then I could coach. Could definitely coach. I'm leaning towards it a little bit, but at the same time, it's just like, I really want to. We go for the Behemoth Bash. That is pretty solid. I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna run a Behemoth Bash here. We have the Defense Boost, which is wonderful. He's just gonna go for a Sacred Sword, and we're gonna be able to soak that up all day. Thank you very much. Defense Boost is lovely. Behemoth Bash, fly through and I should have coached. Should have Dynamax and coached. That could have been a great play for us. Might do that next turn. Actually, no, we can't. Let's do this. Yeah, I'll eat. Send it this way, and build, chip up a little bit of damage. So, something that is okay. He can beef up some shots. He's, he's better late game more than anything. But now we're gonna fly with Thunder Wave, and now if. He doesn't go for a blades here. We could be thriving. I could Dynamax and get after his battle. So now you're gonna fly through here, and he's gonna we're gonna dodge it. You are going to dodge it. They can just Dynamax and drop him. Drop a nice little airstream here. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna coach him up. Defense boost all that because we know the Sacred Sword's gonna fly through here. We know the Sacred Sword's gonna fly through here. I am digging this. As long as he doesn't get a crit with a Stone Edge, we could be thriving. With this. We could be thriving with this battle, but now's a perfect time to Dynamax for us. So we're, we're Dynamaxing. We're Dynamaxing our Thunders. We're going to coach him up with Zamazetta. We're, if I had to guess, the Sacred Sword is still going to come into my... What's it called? It's definitely still going to come into the, the Zamazetta slot, but Zamazetta now outspeeds to do the Thunder Wave, and now we should be able to get off the coach and kind of go from there. If Zamazetta goes down after it gets off coach, I'm with it all day. Let's see the plays from here. Coaching can come through. Send it. There we go. Attack boost. Complete defense boost. Lovely, up against two physical attackers, which is really, really good. And Max Air Stream's gonna fly. We flying. I don't think we're gonna KO, but we're gonna get off some decent damage. Yeah, more than half. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. And it could be really good if uh, Zassian can lose a turn here due to Paralyze. It'd be really good for us. Let's see what he goes for. Fire Punch gonna fly through here. I'm with that all day. Do not burn me. Cool. And then Sacred Sword comes through, and that's perfect. That is perfectly fine by me. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. We fine with that. We are fine with that. Okay, so now we're sitting here. Who can I bring out? I could bring out Kyogre. Kyogre's like, yeah, Kyogre's looking money here. He is looking money right now. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. Money ain't even the word for it. Not even the word for it. He's looking so good right now. I'm gonna guess he's gonna swap into Storm Drain Gaston. So you know what? I'm just gonna do this. Drop a lightning. What would be better for us? Lightning? Hmm. Go for a flutter by. Or I could double down into Gashon. Because he's going to swap into Gashon. He's 100% going to swap into Gashon. And I think he swaps the Groudon, right? He has to swap the Groudon. So in this case, I'm just going to drop an Ice Beam into the Groudon slot. Or I should have I should have called mine set up. I should have called mine set up. He's going to withdraw the Groudon into the Storm Drain Gashon. You think we're stupid? Does this guy think we're stupid? You think we're stupid? I think he thinks we're stupid. He was trying to go for a protect there. He's paralyzed. It's beautiful. And Max Lightning's going to fly. And I think it's going to take out Zassian, right? Zassian, get out of my game. Get him out of here. Cool. Get him out of here. I should have calm mine set up. That would have been the play of the week. It would have been the play of the week. But if he swaps back in the ground, on, I kind of just want to get this uh, Pokemon out of here. Now we're going to drop a nice little Ice Beam. Chip up a little bit of damage on him. And it's going to be a solid battle because he still has Dynamax. He still has Dynamax, which is scary. We're going to drop a nice little Ice Beam here. And give me a freeze. Freeze this dude. Woo! Woo! We love it. We love the freezes. We love the freezes. Look at this. Little slug is frozen in place. <laughs> Nothing's better than when you say, like, give me that freeze or, like, give me the burn, and it actually happens. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful sight. Okay. Let's see what he does. Groudon's probably going to come back out here, and if he does, I'm kind of fine with that. If Groudon comes back out here, I'm fine with that. Yeah, Groudon's going to come back out here, and in this case, I know an airstream can KO it. And I know, I'm pretty sure an ice beam should be able to KO it, too. But you know what? We're just going to do this. We're just going to Airstream. I could Calm Mind set up from here. But I know Airstream. Airstream could definitely KO it. I'm just going to go for Calm Mind. My play. My play all day. Airstream 100% kills it. Unless he Dynamax that. I, I just don't really see him Dynamax that crowd on, right? I just don't see it happen. But yeah, if I get a speed boost and all that stuff going on here, we're thriving. But is this going to be the crowd on? Could do me dirty. Could end up doing me dirty, but let's see how this one plays out. It's gonna be the Gastrodon. And we're hoping that this thing's stuck in a giant iceberg. We're hoping. We are hoping, but I think this is this guy's like last ditch effort here. He's like, I'm going to uh Dynamax's frozen Gastrodon. See how this one plays out here. But Airstream's gonna fly later, Groudon. Get him out of my game. 
He's gone, and more importantly, we get a nice lovely speed boost over onto the Kyogre, and we're gonna hit this thing with another ice beam. Keep this thing frozen. We all we all shoot more ice at this Pokemon just to keep it more frozen. But we made a great read with going into that ice beam, predicting the swap and just rolling out from there. And we also predicted, oh no, I, why did I think we were going for ice beam? But Combine works perfectly. I'm with Combine all day. What's he gonna go for here, Geyser? I don't mind if you change the weather. And of course he thaws out of the drought. God dang drought. And Hailstorm's gonna fly here. That's chilling. I'm cool with that. Thunder's gonna be able to soak that up. Thank you very much, Thunderous. Thunderous soaks up, and I think we just keep attacking the ones. Mm. Mm. What do I do here? I was gonna say, do we keep attacking the Pokemon on the right side? But then we have Garchomp in the back, which Garchomp can get off one shot onto Gastron before it really uh, dies to it. Because, you know, it's just going to slap us up with an ice move. We're just going to go out. <laughs> but our leftover is going to help us out here. He also has leftovers. But more importantly, he has a special attacker on the field. And we have Combine set up with that special. Just, it's beautiful. But right now, we're stuck into a little... We could go into an Orange Pulse if we want to. But then we're going to give him a special attack boost. That's something I do not want to do. Something I do not want to do. But Charizard could definitely protect here. Do we read to protect? We could read to protect, but I'm going to go here. And I'm just going to combine up again. Two special attackers on the field. I'm just going to combine up again. Because we know the Gastron is going to take out the Thunders. He sees Thunders as a threat right now. He sees Thunders as a threat, and he doesn't protect the Charizard, which is gorgeous. That should KO him. No problem, right? Get him out of here. Beautiful. Charizard, get out my face. And we're setting up another combine, and your boy is dominating. Your boy is dominating with this off-meta team. Going up against, like I said, probably the best team in Sword and Shield ranked double battles as of right now. That team is just phenomenal, but we legit just outplayed our opponent there. We got into a perfect situation where I knew I could Dynamax and coach up. Right after that Thunder Wave, when we Thunder Wave the Zamazetta, I was just like, yo, we can coach this one. We can take Dynamax and we can control it. And that's exactly what we did. That's exactly what we did. He goes to a Max Quake into me. My boy soaks up all day due to the Combine setup twice. With plus two on Special Defense, plus two on Special Attack. And it's pretty much GG. He's going to cancel battle. He's definitely going to cancel battle. At this point, I'm just going to fly. I'm just going to start slapping him up with Ice Beams. Doing all that good stuff. And it's just going to be a slow, drawn-out battle if he stays in here. So, I doubt this guy wants to stay in this battle. I doubt he wants to stay in this battle. Let's get him out of here. Let's get him out of here. But I feel like the only way he had a shot at winning this battle was to protect the Charizard and take out my Thunders. I think that was, like, his one shot. But he does not cancel. Hopefully, yo, if he goes, <laughs> if he goes after Thunders, which I think he's going to do, that would be hilarious. I think he is going to go after Thunders, even though we're getting another freeze here. Nope, no freeze. Hailstrom's going to fly through it, and yeah, he's going after him. God dang it. We're just toying with this guy now. We're just toying with this guy. Should I run and give this guy the win? Should I do that? Nah, we're not like that. We're not like that. Especially because we got to get back into match here. So all these wins matter for me. All these wins matter for me. It's the first match of the season. It's April Fool's Day. By the time I'm recording this, this video will probably go out on April 2nd. But uh, we're just going to drop another Ice Beam. And that's, that's GG's right. Both these moves should be able to kill this thing. Yep, battle's canceled. GG's 1-0. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into our second battle. Let's go back-to-back. -back. We just dominated the first battle when we went up against probably the best team in the in Series 12 right now. So hopefully we can go back-to-back -back here and grab ourselves a second win. We're going up against Zassi and Yvelta squad with Raichu, Incineroar, Amoongus, and Grimstar. All right, your boy's got this one. I'm leading Metagross. Metagross is looking good on my end. So Metagross coming out here alongside with uh, Zamazetta could be good, but I'm kind of scared of that... Raichu just paralyzing me and rocking out from there. Not gonna lie, it's looking a little scary. He could actually, oh, he could lead. No, we're gonna lead Zamazetta. I was gonna say, he could lead Incineroar, which could do me dirty, but I have clear body on this, and Zamazetta is really just gonna be there to coach up my Metagross and get him rolling out. So we're gonna lead them too. Kyogre, you're definitely coming in here because you're the best. And last but not least, who do we rock out with? We go Glacier. Glacier ain't too shabby. Thunder's is not bad either. Uh, Garchomp, pretty solid here too. Do you like me some Chomsky? And I'm leaning a bit more towards the Chomsky with every thought of this. We have the Rock Slide for coverage. We have the uh, the ground move that's super effective up against that Raichu. And then Cinemore. So, you know, Chomp, come on, man. We want you here. We want you here, Chomp. You're so cool. We, we you cannot not bring you here. But, yeah. 1-0 one, one no so far. Let's, let's, gra let's grab ourselves that winning record. I don't even think you guys, I asked you guys question of the day. And this is not a bad one. It's a, what is your favorite gaming console of all time? It could be anything. It could be a Game Boy. It could be a DS. It could be a home console. It could be a Nintendo Switch. Legit, anything that you guys think is a console and you guys want to put it down there, let me know in the comment section. Down there. For me, I have a few. I have a few. Like, Switch is obviously, like, superior and really good, really good. But, like, like you guys know, like, sentimental value, I should say. Or, like... What I had as a kid, which I will always remember, is a DS. 
and I really like the DS, the Wii, and the Wii U. I know the Wii U got a lot of hate, but the Wii U guy had some bangers on it. The Wii U had some bangers, and I put a lot of hours into it, but I have to say, be probably the Wii or Xbox 360 I played a lot. Ooh, the Wii was up there, too. <laughs> Good old Wii Sports when that came out, the whole family was playing. But he's going to go into, I didn't even see who he leads, Raichu alongside with, uh, who else do you lead? I can't see it. Can you show me your other Pokemon? I can't read Japanese either. Yvelta. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm with it. And that's actually scaring me. That's scaring me so much. I'm not going to Dynamax him. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm taking off your sash. I'm just snarling. Actually, I'm doing the Iron Head here. And then I'll snarl and take off sash. I can't Dynamax, dude. He's ripping with dark moves. He's going to rip into me. Yeah. I'm not doing it. I'm not wasting a Dynamax turn. It's just not happening. I'll Dynamax Garchompers or Kyogre. I'll do that. We'll have, fun. we'll have fun that way. But I just I just couldn't do it. I just could not do it. But this is a fine Dynamax for him. Hopefully, he's faking out on my Metagross slot. That'd be a little bit cooler. But I do need to start getting off these Snarls. These Snarls could be lovely. Helping hand comes out here. That's fine. You can take out my Metagross. I'm not dealing with it. Snarls should come out here beforehand. Oh. Send it that way. Put a minus one. We'd love to see it. We'd love to see it. And I probably should have just bull punched and ride you, but that's fine. That's fine. Take out my Metagross. I'm cool with that. Max Stark is fine through here. Five Metagross. You were taking him out probably regardless. Without without the helping hand. So he can waste a turn. He doesn't need to fake me out. That's fine. Once I saw the Yvelta on the field, I was like, I cannot swap and let any of, the, of these other Pokemon take down. So I was just like, Metagross, you could drop out. Probably should have protected him. Could have been their play. Staying there a little bit longer, but now I can bring out Kyogre. Where do I bring out the Chomsky? What is my play? I kind of want to bring out Chomp before... Before the... Uh, the Kyogre, because I don't want him to get Nelson. I think we're going to Dynamax or Kyogre. Kyogre's just looking a bit better here. So from here, I'm just going to go Stomping Tantrum, take you out. And I could just Snarl again. I could Behemoth Bash. But I think Snarl's going to be our better player for right now. And then we'll Behemoth Bash next turn. And try to get off as much damage as we can over. So, but he's minus one, which is great. Which is lovely. Which is just lovely. But yeah. Let's see what he does. I think like we're sitting in a tough spot here. But I feel like we can definitely like just climb out of it once we get our Kyogre out here. And take out this Raichu. This Kyogre is definitely going to be a Dynamax player. 100%. He might nuzzle. I think he's going to nuzzle onto my Zamazetta, right? Or he could Volt Switch Pivot. That would probably be the play. That would be a lovely play if this guy does it. Let's see what he does. No, he nuzzles. He nuzzles. Leave me alone, dude. The paralyzes does me dirty. Simon Tantrum's going to come out here. That should take him out. And he outspeeds me. Wow. Shavelta outspeeds me, which we eat up. Thank you very much. Simon Tantrum comes out here with the expert belt. Giving it that 1.2 times multiplier boost for damage. And Raichu's a lightweight anyway. We can just tell him to go home. Raichu, get on out my face. We do not want you here. Bounce, bounce, bounce. We hope later get him gone okay so we get rid of that pokemon keep flying with snarls man but now nah, we're gonna behemoth bash we gotta get off some damage let's see who he goes into all right ogre's coming out here soon i could start protecting him, pokemon can bring out oh, of course of course this thing of course this little thing this lovely little pokemon this lovely little pokemon so we're gonna protect you and I'm going for this Behemoth Bash. Like I said, double damage right now. We gotta send it. We gotta send it while he's Dynamax. But I think he's gonna go for a play rough into my Garchomp. And I do think he's gonna go for like an Airstream or Darkness into my Zamazetta. Try to chip off some damage. And then I think we should be able to get off another turn here. Airstream flies through here. Who's going after Zamazetta with that? Yeah. I saw that one coming all day. Now she's going to the play rough. Going to that play rough. He's taking some mean speed, which is scary. The play rough and show me the play rough. Behemoth Blade. Okay, that works. We're blocking that. I thought he would go for a player off, but maybe he's not rocking it. Behemoth Bash is going to fly through here, chip up some damage. This thing is, uh... This thing's probably going to soak it up because, you know, my boy ain't too strong. <laughs> but still, double damage should be able to chip up some nice damage here. Yeah. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Could have been more. You know Zassian would have just dumped on that. Zassian could dump on any Dynamax Pokemon. But, uh... What do I do here? What do I do here? And I guess we'll go for four Stomping Tantrum. And I guess we'll go for Behemoth Bash. I would rather... Who would I rather take out? Not this kind of scaring me. I want this thing gone. <laughs> I want this thing out of my face. But I think he picks up an easy double kill. 
I don't know what's wrong you about though. That's that's fine by me. And who's he gonna go into? He's gonna show his final Pokemon, which is gonna be the Grimstar. Ooh. Ooh, this could be good. Go after Garchomp. Go after Garchomp. Go after Garchomp. Go after Garchomp. This could this could be good. Oh, he goes after Garchomp and gives us a free bash onto the Grimstar. This could be good. I don't know why he swapped Yvelta, but he did. I'm trying to think of why. And, yo, of course, when I need Zamazetta the most. When I need Zamazetta the most, a Paralyze comes out here. But I don't get the swap there. I'm trying to, like, comprehend what the swap was for. I just do not know. I just do not know. Obviously, I gotta go for the geyser and go after you. But helping hand it, I don't think I helping hand it. I think we can do enough damage with the geyser here. In the rain, all that good stuff. Let's see how this one plays. But I'm confused to why he swapped the Yvelta. He had boost like crazy. He had speed. He had a uh, special defense drop on my Zamazetta, but still, he had speed. Kind of confused to why he swapped. It, was, it wasn't choice. Oh, he's minus two. That's why. He's, okay. I, I, okay, I, now, I, now, now I remember. Now I remember why. Now I remember why. <laughs> I forgot I snarled him twice. I snarled him twice, so it was a good call by him. He was sitting there, he was just like, okay, I need to get Zamazetta, or I need a Yvelta for the back end to at least do some damage maybe with a Sucker Punch. So he was like, let me let me dip him back here and get his stats back to normal. Okay, it makes sense now. I totally forgot I snarled him. He's going to scary face me, slow me down. That's fine. He was already faster than me, so that's a waste of a turn. A waste of a turn, and this thing's going for Sacred Sword. I like that. I do not mind that. I need my Kyogre fully, fully here. If I can take out this Zassi, we'd be sitting good. We'd be sitting pretty here. If Zassi can go out here, we could be sitting pretty. Take him out. Let's go. Big time KO. We get rid of that guy. We get rid of him. Okay. We got rain all day. Can't change up weather. Kyogre coming in clutch. It's looking pretty good here. We're looking good with him. He brings out this little hunk of junk here. Which I might just, uh, I might just read a, maybe a protect, but some of them do not go with protect. So, you know what? I'm just going to geyser him. What is this thing really going to do? Set up a screen? Me with a spirit break? I'm going to say that this Yuvelta is not rocking protect. See? What did I tell you? He goes for oblivion wing. We say, hey, yo, that's tasty snack. He's going to get HP back, but I'm just going to send this geyser this way. And I'm taking this boy out. He might spirit break me. If I had to guess, right? Spirit break coming out. We out, we out speed this Grimmsnarl. <laughs> <laughs> we got some piece of We'll say bye bye to your belts. Get him out of here. Get him out of here, dude. My boy thriving. My boy is thriving. What is this thing going for? Spear break, right? Yep, there's a spear break for the minus one on special attack. That's totally fine. I'm sending another geyser his way in the rain and we get off some damage. Give me my leftovers, though. Bro, the late Dynamax. The 3v1. The 3v1, I should say. The 3v1. Get after this thing. The 3v1 coming in hot. Coming in hot. Let's see what he does. We are minus one, but again, should be fine. Unless he sets up like a light screen. No, he just canceled that. Well, there it is, yo. GG. Three and one. Or three versus one on Kyogre. We go two and oh. We're hopping into our third now. Who would have guessed it? We're going up against the same exact team that we versed in battle number one. Like I said, everyone's using this team. Everybody wants to get top tier, master tier. So everyone's just like, yo, this team's the best. Let's rock out with it. But yo, let's beat it again. Let's beat it again. We already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. So now let's grab ourselves a perfect record. Zassian, Kyogre, or well not Kyogre, Zassian, Groudon, definitely very strong, gotta watch out for them, but I'm really more worried about that Groudon and Charizard. It's really scary, we gotta bring Kyogre in the back, obviously, for weather control, but who should I lead this one with? Who should I lead? I, I wanna bring Glacier, we haven't brought Glacier in at all today. At all today. But I might just bring it just, just for the heck of it, you know? Just have some fun with it. But, uh, we're, should we lead Glacier? Yeah, let's lead Glacier. Let's do it, yo. Let's just let's just do it. Let's just do it. We're gonna lead him alongside with our thunders, just in case he wants to proc defiant. And then we're gonna bring Kyogre, obviously. And then Zamazetta could be cool, but yeah, let's just go Zamazetta. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. If we lose this battle, we lose this battle. It's it's whatever. You guys already know. Whenever I'm 2-0, I just like to hop into the third battle. Use the Pokemon that I haven't used before and have some fun with it. And then if we win, we win. But let's see what our opponent's rocking with. Let's see what our pose rock with. But dude, everyone's using this team. Everyone must be watching the Gene's YouTube channel. <laughs> everyone's like, Gene's used this team. Let me rock out with it. But by the time I'm recording this video, I didn't even upload the video yet. So, it's hilarious. Everyone's just rolling with it. It's just so strong right now. He rolls in with them too. Uh, we're rolling with these guys. Uh, ba -ba 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 what should I do? What should Gene's do? 
should I do? What should I do? This is looking scary for me. I do think the blade is going to fly over on the glacier. And there's nothing I can really do about it. <laughs> there is nothing I can really do about it. I could change up weather. I wish I could protect you. I can't really do anything about you. I'm going to try to get off an icicle crash if we can. I'm going to thunder wave you. I'm going to take speed. I think Glacier just goes down here to a blade easily, right? <laughs> I think he's dead. I think he's dead. This is why we didn't want to bring Glacier. Dude, this thing just gets ripped by everything and anything out on the field right now. All the restricted mods, this is why this thing like doesn't see the light anymore. Because before the restricted mods were here, he was very, very strong. Now all the restricted mods are here. And he just gets whooped. <laughs> Look at him. He just gets whooped. Whooped ain't even a word. Look at him. He's dead. He's dead. I don't even have protect on him. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, Glacier. I knew you weren't the call. Go back to your little ranch, little pony. Your ice ranch. Your little ice ranch. Thunder wave comes out here. We'll slow you down. We'll slow you down. And we're going to bring out Kyogre. We're going to change up weather. And there might be a Storm Drink Ash time flying out here. Stone Edge comes through. And no, don't kill me. Rough. Rough. I, I knew that was coming too. All right. Simon said, Kyogre, get on over here. We're going to get ripping with you boys. Okay. Um, From here. Give me my play. Do we think he's do we think he has Storm Drink Ash on? I think we calm mine here just in case he has Storm Drink Ash on. I think we calm mine just in case, you know. I wish we could coach ourselves. <laughs> I wish we could. Yeah, I'm gonna calm mine just in case. And I'm going to roll into a Behemoth Bash. Just right in his ass in here. See what this dude does. If I get off a of combine and he swaps, we can maybe bring this battle a little closer by just going into a Dynamax after this. We shall see. We shall see. But yeah, that, I knew this from the start that once I saw the Kyogre and Groudon lead, I was like, dang, yo, we are we are not good. There's the withdrawal. Look at that, dude. I'm just reading Storm Drain calls all day. That's Storm Drain Gaston, right? Ooh, look, look, look. Look at that. Storm Drain Gaston. We're not stupid. We're not stupid. I know you have Storm Drain Gaston, and I'm learning. I'm learning. Behemoth, ba 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 Behemoth Bash flying through here. Chipping off a little bit of damage. I can get off a nice lovely combine, and then I'm going to Dynamax my Kyogre after this. Kyogre with the Dynamax. Taker Sword come, could come through here, but we're hoping we get a lucky little para this turn. Lucky little para. Come on, show it to me. Oh, lucky little para. Keep me in the battle, baby girl. Keep me in the battle. We're Dynamax now. Hailstorm into you. I'm digging it. Behemoth Bash into you. I'm digging it. Or do we just get rid of the... Yeah, no, no, no. no. We're sticking with our turn. We're doing this. We are doing this. Look at that. Look at that lovely little turn there. Dynamax and Archive. Let's roll out. Let's roll out. Bump, bump, bump. Let's roll out. 888. Eight, eight. Let's roll out. Let's roll out. My boy Kyogre, dude. This Kyogre is really, really good in Dynamax form. I like it a lot. Once you get that calm mindset up... I feel like the ones without the water spout are so good without Dynamax. And the ones with water spout, you just don't want Dynamax because you just want to send water spouts left and right. We went for a bash here. Send it this way. One more bash will KO it. So as long as he doesn't go for like a blades into my Kyogre, I'm with it. I'd rather him go for like a sacred sword into Zamazetta because we are plus one on the defense board. Not bad damage. We like that a lot. The Paralyzed did us really good. Paralyzed did us really good. Hailstorm's going to fly. How much damage are we going to chip on this thing? Chip, 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 chip. Take him out maybe? No. But a lot. But a, but a solid shot with a coverage move. We change up weather. Hails are flying. And he's going to go for a secret sword. Yep, that's fine. We should soak that. Nom, 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 nom. Tasty snack. And what are you going for? He's yawning. You son of a biscuit. How dare you? How dare you do me dirty like that? How dare you? How dare you? Hmm. What's my play? I might coach. Did I coach my boy just for a defense boost? It'd be good. I really want to change weather, but I don't think a Behemoth Bash could take out that Gash Rail. So in this case, we're going here. And we're bashing. Even though Double Protect's probably going to roll to the rear. What are you on? What are you on? But we need to get a KO because we don't get swept. No! He's swapping. He's changing weather. Changing weather. Imagine I would have just hailstormed in that. That could have been a play. 
We're changing weather back, so kind of stupid. Stupid for you. Kind of stupid for you, and he's going into the protect. God dang it, dude. I need one KO. I need at least one KO, right? I can't get swept. I cannot get swept. I simply can't. I can't. I simply can't. Give me a crit. Take this thing out. Mega crit. Nothing. Poo poo damage. Poo poo damage. We're gonna do that. We're changing weather right back there, which is wonderful. And my Kyogre goes to sleep. Kyogre slumped. He is slumped. We cannot get swept. We have to do something. And I'm trying to think of what we could possibly do here. Zamazetta might be faster on the field. If he is, a Behemoth Bash could still keep us from getting swept. I can't get swept. Do not like that one bit. Cannot do it. Never got swept on recording. Out of like four, how many Sword and Shield videos do we have? Like 5,653? <laughs> it's like, it's close to 500. I've been doing a lot. Definitely 500 uh, competitive battle videos. Fine with BDSP because I'm at like 450 here. I think I have close to 50 for uh, BDSP, which is really cool. And I have some singles battles when I used to do them back in the day. But I'm going to go. I might double down this slot just so I don't get swept. But, you know, we're, we're, we're slumped this turn. So I'm going to do that. I'm Behemoth bashing. Mm. It's not going to take him out, is it? We're still going to go for it. Maybe we get a crit. Mm. Mm. Dude, no. We can't get swept. We cannot do it. Cannot do it. My boy Kyogre is gonna need to wake up soon. He's gonna need to wake up soon. Let's see what happens. This is my boy out speed. Thomas said it does. Let me take this thing out. Give me a crit, dude. Please, Pokey guys. You know I can't get swept on video. You know I can't get swept on video. Take it out. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Quake's fine. There you go after Zamazetta, please. Tiger should be able to soak pretty well. Tiger soaks. We need him to wake up next turn. Oh, wait. Buffets are flying. Wait a minute. Hold up. Yo, can the Buffets do, do it good? Or does, or does Leftovers come out before the Buffets? With power flying. Can the Buffets take him out? Come on, yo. Please. Little hail pellets. Save me. Save me, little hail pellets. Oh, it's, yeah, no, Gashon does. Take it out. The hail pellets from Arceus. Save me from getting swept. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Thank the Lord. But I knew that battle was going to be rough once I saw the leads. Once I saw the leads, I was like, yo, it's a, we're, we're done here. We're on here. But he's going to roll in the Zass in here. He's just going to behemoth blade me. It's GG's. But yo, we didn't get swept, which is awesome. Which is awesome. But it gives an Incineroar instead. A charge. What a charge, dude. What a charge. But yeah, this this one's 100%. This 10,653 percent over. Now he can just fake out. He's gonna hit me with a quake. That's GG's. I'm gonna run this one, but yo, two and one, and when he gets swept in the final battle, that's a win in my book. Can't be mad with a winning record for today's video, especially when we use a team like this. The one Pokemon that I'm surprised that we didn't really get to show off is that Metagross. Metagross just seemed to be the strongest Pokemon when looking at it on paper, but Every time we went to a battle, we were just going up against a tough team up against it. He had the Groudons, he has the Charizards. I was just like, dude, there's no shot. We're getting in Metagross here. And in that second battle, Yvelta just came in there and dumped on it. So it was just like, uh, couldn't really do much with Metagross. But hey, got to use the other four Pokemon. Glacier just got dumped in the third battle. We just used him for the heck of it. And he just got teed off on. But I think this team worked well all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos get live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.